Were you mindlessly scrolling through your mobile phone trying to find something interesting until you stumbled upon this video? Chances are, you might be getting too much screen time. When you stare at a screen for a prolonged period, whether it's your phone or computer, you are exposing yourself to a great amount of blue light. Blue light, also known as High Energy Visible Light or HEV, is part of the visible light spectrum, with a wavelength between 400 and 450 nanometers. Due to its short wavelengths and high levels of energy, people are worried that blue light can be damaging to our body. In recent years, exposure to blue light has become increasingly common due to the proliferation of electronic gadgets. While the amount of blue light emitted from our digital devices is generally low, the long period people spend on them and the close proximity of these devices to the face are causes for concern. Early studies have shown that prolonged exposure to high-intensity blue light damages retinal cells in mice. As such, blue light may increase risk of eye diseases in humans, which may in turn cause retinal damage and macular degeneration. However, some experts argue that the structure of the human eyes differ from the mice. The crystalline lens and macular pigments in human eyes could potentially absorb blue light before it reaches the retina. However, more research is needed in order to confirm the hypothesis. Overexposure to blue light can potentially damage our skin too. When we are exposed to blue light for too long, it may produce free radicals and cause oxidative stress. This may lead to skin cell shrinkage and death, breakdown of collagen and elastin fibers, and formation of hyperpigmentation, potentially speeding up the skin's aging process. Is blue light really all that bad? High-energy visible light is shown to improve alertness, help with memory and cognitive functions, and even elevate mood. Studies have also found that blue light regulates circadian rhythm by maintaining melatonin levels in the body, helping you to improve your sleep-wake cycle. Blue light is also used in the treatment of medical conditions. Photodynamic therapy uses controlled levels of blue light in the treatment of inflammatory acne. Blue light therapy helps to improve mild to moderate acne and is generally safe for most people. It works by reducing the activity of sebaceous glands and eliminates cultibacterium acnes, an acne-causing bacteria responsible for your breakouts. Digital devices have become an indispensable part of our daily lives, whether you like it or not. Cutting down on screen time and wearing a broad-spectrum sunscreen at home are perhaps still the most effective ways to protect yourself against the harmful effects of blue light. We have new videos weekly, so remember to subscribe to our channel and other social media accounts as well.